So the Clippers and Philly game was crazy yesterday. We're going to look through the full leaked audio of uh, Kelly Oufre talking to the refs, his post game comments, Tyrese Maxey's post game comments, and um, Nick Nurse. Kelly Oufre congratulates each ref after not getting a call in his final two seconds. <laughs> congratulates is crazy. They had two shots and went in the game. So I don't know. They, they, they put Maxey all the way at half court. They ran a play for Oufre two times. So Oufre got it off the kind of off the bounce, slight pick. And Kawhi blocks it right here. It's stuck in there. It'll be a jump ball. And then this is second option. It tips it back to heel. Heel throws it across on the drive inside. Ubre blocked. I don't understand why he got mad because contact came after. Like it, it, even if they called a foul, would it matter? Because the contact came after the game it was like after the buzzer went off. Like watch. All right, so why this is where he initially initiates it? But like you see, what I'm saying the buzz already went off. So I don't know why he got mad, but the shit was funny. Game is over. So right here, he flicks off the ref right here. I'm going to show a better angle of this. In the direction of the... the there you go, right here. Nick Nurse furious. He's on the court yelling at J.P. DeRozan. And his coach does his guilty. His coach went off too. They're going to have to try and keep him away. Those are two drives to the basket for Oubre. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he said, you're a bitch. You got it. Beep the ref's face. Was he said, okay. Okay. Right, Legends just dropped his version. We always He, he has the best angle, so we're going to check this out. Shout out, Legends. <laughs> See what I mean? He glassed it. I know what I be talking about, bro. That, that was a clean block right there. That was clean. And he got mad. <laughs> That he flicked off the ref right here. I believe. <laughs> ref said, okay. <laughs> oh, he said grandma. Oh, yeah, this fine's about to be generational. <laughs> they look baffled. Yeah, this. Let me see. Let me see what they say. The bro about to get fined his whole salary. Yeah, nah, they, they about to find this motherfucker like crazy. That man going to get the AI treatment for the rest of the games. Honestly, Ubre wasn't getting superstar calls regardless, bro. Let's just be real. So this was his post-game comment. So Kelly Ubre on his heated exchange with the refs after the game. I want to apologize for losing my cool because that's something I try to work on each and every day and try to represent God in the best way I possibly can. And that wasn't. I just asked for forgiveness. It wasn't cool, so... I'll take whatever penalties come with that. He did what a lot of players want to do to, to bad refs. So this is full comments. Well, first and foremost, um, he did a moment. Uh, this is an intense basketball game, of course. And, you know, we're not perfect. The refs aren't perfect. I want to apologize for just losing my cool because that's something I try to work on. He trying to get Adam Silver. To, all, all this is, he trying to get Adam Silver to cool down on that fine. He about to get fined like 200 plus K, I guarantee. Every day and try to represent God in the best way I possibly can, and that wasn't it. So, uh, you know, I just asked for forgiveness. But I saw Coach Nurse getting riled up, and my, if our coach is going to fight for us and, you know, he's going there, then I'm right behind him. So, uh, but at the end of the day, it wasn't cool. So, you know, I'll take whatever penalties come with that, and, you know, you have to move on. But uh, I got to be better in a sense. That was a smart response. You still getting fined, though, my boy. Well, the thing is, there was absolutely contact, but they were calling those calls for – for those guys and you know they were getting and ones and they were changing the game in that aspect and then we get down to our side and it's like they didn't even see any contact but i barely touched them on the other end and they still called it so it was just like all right that's that's not true i'm gonna play the clip after we're gonna compare we're gonna compare his foul versus their supposed foul at the end of the game even in a sense but like i'm saying i'm not here to you know get on any refs or any decisions because they're human beings as well as i am so Hey, if they don't think there was contact, then there was no contact. Did they give you an explanation on the out of bounds? No, nah, they, they're selective. They said that uh, this is what we're doing, and we're going to keep it moving from here. And the ball didn't go off me, but, you know, the review center said that it did. So, uh, yeah, they, they made they changed the call. Had two opportunities to win the game. They blew both. They gave up two and ones back to back to Kawhi. So you can see the initial contact on the swipe. And then another one as he goes up. Swings, miss. Then he tried to swipe again, miss. Got the N1. Hit him on his arm. Finished it strong through the contact. So that was a foul. That was a good call. Then the next time, I don't know what fucking defense they were running, 
Like this, whatever defense this was was dumb because they left the paint wide open. I think they were assuming the Clippers are going for a three, right? So Kawhi did a quick pump fake again. He drove, and then you could see that contact from his back. You're, if you swing, if you're swinging from his back, pause. That's a foul. Like, look. So that was a foul. That's a clear foul. And that was that was another good call again. So they blew the game down the stretch in comparison to his. The Ubre had two opportunities to win the game as well. See, he's driving. He's driving. Kawhi, Kawhi gets him slightly off balance. So I feel like he would have missed this shot either way. Then he tried to go up. You could see the angle of where he's going up. Kawhi's clip. He could have fouled you. Like his hand is in the direction you're going to place the ball. Right? So he pins it right there. He just used his body to knock you off balance. And it felt like a foul. So that was a good call. They, it was a jump ball. That was a good call. I feel like this was the closest thing they would have had to getting a foul, but it wouldn't have mattered because the foul was initiated after the buzzer went off. See what I'm saying? So it wouldn't have even mattered. This is Nick Nurse comments on, you know, what took place at the end of the game. Well, I think, um, listen, I think he took it in there pretty hard. Right? I looked at it on the screen, on, on our computer a couple times. I thought there was certainly contact, certainly as much as the, the last two or three that got called in, ones at the other end. And that's all. I just, I just thought it was you know, contact to call. Now, look, I'll be real. If that was um, I was Joel Embiid who would have drove, I guarantee both possessions he would have got those foul calls. But, nigga, Nick Nurse, you can't think Kelly fucking Oubre is going to get a superstar call. Like, I don't even know why you went to him in crunch time. The refs aren't about to give Kelly Oubre those superstar calls. Like, you got to use your head. Set up a play for Maxi, or honestly, you're better off going to Tobias Harris. You're going to do that shit. You can't possibly think Oubre would have got that call. The play was a great play. I'm not going to... The play he ran was a great play. It got it got him a good look, but Oubre is not getting that fucking call, bro. The ref's not about to be like, foul on whoever for Oubre. They're not doing that shit. Oubre's been fighting back. He's he's. I think he's dealing with like a shoulder injury. So, just update on that. I'm bang. I ain't gonna lot to you. You know, I've been thugging it out. Um, you know, hooping. I haven't been able to make a shot in probably two months, but uh, I just saw a chiropractor and he just cr snap, crackled, and popped every single bone in my body. And I feel a little better. So hopefully we could, uh, you know, just stay healthy. I just keep fighting through this stuff because I, I want to hoop. So uh, at the end of the day, man, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just go through a wall for my team and my guys. And I hope that the city respects it. Although I did kind of sell tonight in a sense. That's what I've seen on the comments. But yeah. Yeah, we uh, not yeah, uh, <laughs> he don't give a fuck. Part of me tripping and falling, like it just, just a domino thing, honestly. Like, I just I broke open and tripped, fell, made getting two points off that, and then kind of went downhill from there. But uh, a couple of turnovers late, uh, a couple of execution things that we did, and uh, it came back to bite us, bit us. Uh, you gotta take care of the ball, gotta finish games. Uh, I felt like couple times we uh lost Kawhi like on the one that he got the first and one on and then on the second one you know that's just a play if he beats us he got a little laid in you know what I mean already we're up two I think we're up two right up two he lays that in then we come down we get the last shot and uh hey either one of us makes a, a, a shot to, to win the game or we go in overtime. Nick has talked about seeing some real progress specifically on defense in that respect have you seen some of those steps in the right direction even if overall Lately, it hasn't been entirely resolved wise what you would like. Yeah, I mean, I think our defense has been really good. You know, I mean, today we, we shot the ball a little bit better. We shot uh, almost 40% from three. But uh, in our losses, it's, it's not always our, our, our defense that's hurting us as of late. It's been our offense. You know, we couldn't score or down the stretch, we couldn't get a bucket. And, um, you know, that's, I mean, that's a better sign. I think guys are really going out there and competing. Competing their tails off. Guys really want to win, and uh, to win, you got to compete on that end. And uh, I feel like we're in the right frame of mind, right spot, especially with Joel coming back. Speaking of Joel, Nick Nurse gave an update on how he's doing. They, I think, I think for since Joel been out, they've been playing pretty good. They actually, I thought they were just about to go completely downhill and be a play-in team, but they're actually doing decent. Is he, the Anthony and Robert, able to do today in practice? Uh, the Anthony and Robert did not uh, participate in practice today. Uh, Joel was uh, in practice. I mean, yeah, really practice, but we he was in today doing work. He was doing it um, against other players, just in just kind of skill work with, with kind of some live guys. I'm like, um, I think that like for me, like I still I still don't like have a timeline. I'd love to give you, give you one. I mean, I would love to not have, you know, 
and he's this, and that means he's back playing, <laughs> right? But, but I again, I'm like, I think that I think that it's coming, and I, and I, but I also understand that like, I see some growth here. I think this is helping us. I don't, I don't, you know, uh, yeah. Like, listen, I want to put the best players we got on the floor, no doubt about it. Give ourselves the best chance to win. <laughs> this dude's stressed as fuck. You can tell. I, I, I still. You know, I'm ready to go out to the drawing board and to battle with, with the guys here to continue to, I think, uh, polish and improve this group. Yep. Oh, I hope Daryl Moore, you don't do my boy dirty next. Lou Williams predicts Kelly Oubre Jr.'s fine. This is 25000 per bitch without a doubt. He's getting fined in 100 Ks for sure. Adam Silver going to teach him a lesson. But regardless, that shit was funny. He did what a lot of um players want to do to refs. All around, all around great game. That was a really good game yesterday and uh it, it was a funny wild ending but it was a great game y'all let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section and um as always it's your boy hefe out